Okay, so I'm going to put another coat, another coat of white plus oyster beige on this ring. Put as many coats as you need until it has a good coverage. White is, uh, light colors are always hard. You have to put them several times. So I'm going to put another, another coat. And you may need to put another coat on this sand too. I'm going to take the gray number 6 and add white and mix this light gray color. And I'm going to wet with extender this top section and I have to tell you um, you probably have to be drying the extender the piece so that you don't damage things that you have done before because it stays wet and I'm going to in this top section I'm going to blend this light color in there And make sure it doesn't go into the uh, this lower section. Maybe, yeah, maybe you can put a tiny bit on top of that and make it lighter. But maybe the wait, um, a very very sheer coat on top of that. Very sheer coat. sheer coat and we are going to dry because we don't want to mess this after we paint it real pretty I already put it in my hand and something that I had painted before Before I go, I'm gonna up, I'm gonna take advantage of these. Let's see, this was too dark. That handle was too dark. I'm gonna take the extender and wet it with the extender. And I'm going to put a coat of this color on that handle too. and make that less dark and I don't want that to overpower my painting we have that light color we can put it also on the edge of the border so I'm gonna take the border and put some extender on the border and I'm gonna put a small amount of this color on the border on the border you can hardly see it
this tiny section that you see in here in the pattern, that tiny section, that's why you're going to base coat with um, the same amount of the dark gray and the value, value 6 and value 3 gray, those two grays. And then... We are going to um, continue with the bottom. We have more to do with the top, but um, I want to have the bottom in place. And remember that you have two pockets, and we're going to play with that. Okay, I put it again the extender, and another gave another coat of the light blue that I, I uh, blended, and I put another coat also in there. Now, I really like it the way it looks now and now I'm gonna dry it. Let's highlight the top section with white. And so we're gonna start giving it strong highlights of white in there, in here. in here in here need to have an, uh, a steak ocean blue. We need to have um, lights that are cooler. Okay, so I blended this ocean blue with white and making a very light uh, blue. And I put it in here. in here also in here <coughs> and in here So we have um, value 8 on the background. Now we're going to put um, these sections in here. Uh, that you have, um, you're going to paint that section with value. Uh, medium value 6 from here to there all this section okay so this sections in here is value gray number 6 and also the section next to the packets the sugar packets is also value number 6 we're gonna also put some underneath the packets but um, for now you're gonna put that color and then in here it's not going to be as light as this. So you're going to take the oyster beige and blend it with um, number but a gray number eight. So oyster beige plus gray number eight, which is the background color.
and then you can put that on the remainder in here and then we're gonna highlight and a tiny bit more so just put that color on the remainder on the, on this section okay so I base coated this section in here with the value gray value number six gray value number six there and there and this is the background which is the value number eight then I took value number eight and um, base coated the remaining sections in here this section and all these here and here and here was base coated with oyster beige plus value number eight which is the light so the very very light gray which is the background color is number eight so number eight plus oyster beige is what I did in here uh, the other thing that you need to do is you're going to uh, take some of the white plus the light color and float around here now I'm gonna do a second float with just white a second float with just just white I'm gonna highlight again the border with a liner with white maybe white is too light so let's take the light gray with number eight and white and then what I'm gonna do is re-highlight with white and now I'm just gonna put shines with white so the shine is in here there's another shine in here And there's another shining here. And then the blue, uh, ocean blue plus white, we have to put some of those too. Now this is still flat so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shade with the dark value. I'm going to take um, extender first and that section and take the gray number three. and I'm gonna float next to this let's go ahead and put a float uh, on the spoon and I'm gonna also take uh, value number six and float in here and we mop that
number three number three which is the darkest darkest gray that we have in here number three gonna dry it and then we'll go come back and put some more color I am reinforcing the white at the top this is the cream Okay, and then I am gonna take the the sand. Trying to um, gonna take the sand. And I'm going to put a um, tiny bit of sand, but I'm going to put extender. Okay, I'm going to put extender in here. And I'm going to put a tiny bit of sand in there. tiny bit of sand and I'm going to mop let's see tiny bit of sand a tiny bit in here too Okay, and tiny bit in here. No, I didn't put extender there. Put extender first. And mop. Okay, so now that we have the colors in there, let's work a tiny bit on the spoon. Still, this is a tiny bit flat in there. Let's take a um, value gray number eight and float a tiny bit in here making that this cast shadow not as not on that doesn't have only one value like that okay we can do the same on the other one Yes. 
screw them up and mop that edge. We didn't have the extender, so let's take a tiny bit of extender on the brush and help fix that. Okay. It's not looking like a um, it's not looking like um shadow. So I'm gonna take the um oyster beige plus the number eight. Oyster beige plus number eight and even lighten that a tiny bit more. and blend that need to put extender I have to remember to put extender otherwise it does not blend Use them up. And let's fix the other side. and put the extender okay This is value number six, and I'm just going to darken it in here. Um, going to um, finish with the spoon so that we can paint the packets, but I'm going to dry this first so that it doesn't get damaged. Okay, before I go to the spoon, I want to, one more time, shade underneath of the rim. This is extender. And I'm going to take the pebbles all my colors are getting dry. They're getting tired. 
Okay, so this is the that and on the edge. Okay, I think I don't see it, so I'm gonna try to put a tiny bit of chocolate. Maybe too dark. So maybe pebbles plus chocolate. Pebbles plus chocolate. So pebbles plus a tiny bit of chocolate and we're gonna float. I'm gonna float on the edge. On the edge. So there are areas that need this color and there are areas that need the blue. So this color in these areas and then on the other areas we're gonna put the gray let's put the gray uh, 6, value 6. So gray value 6 on the other areas. Okay. Tiny bit in here. Like that. Map. Okay. Let's take, um, the sand and float sand in here. Put too much color and I did not put the extender. Okay, then let's do the spoon. So I'm going to take a uh, that value gray number eight. I'm gonna start with that. And these are reflections. Reflections. So I'm gonna put this reflection in here. Like that. I'm gonna darken that with the number six we have to put um, we need black oops that is bad. So I'm gonna put black, a float of black, and I may need to put some extender in this spoon. Okay, let's put some black in the border.
It's supposed. Let's try this so that we can put other colors.